Hey, your friends here at the dash cam store here with a how to video. Today we're going to talk about a simple way to edit your dash cam footage on Mac. We're going to cover how to remove audio, trim your clips, and how to merge multiple clips into a single file. Begin by opening the iMovie application, which can be found in your taskbar or the application's launchpad. Once the application is open, in the Projects tab, click Create New. You will then be presented with two options, Movie and Trailer. The Movie option, as stated by iMovie, allows users to combine videos, photos, and music to make your own movie, while the Trailer option takes users through a template to create a Hollywood-style movie trailer. Today, we'll proceed with the movie option because it allows us full control over our video's audio, it allows us to trim our video, and it allows us to combine multiple clips into one. In this part, we're gonna remove the audio from our video. Let's begin importing files so we can begin editing our video. You can import footage by clicking on the downward arrow in the center of the screen of the iMovie application. You can also import files by navigating over to the upper left hand side of the iMovie application and then click on the downward arrow to import media files. And if you'd rather just drag your media files into iMovie, that's an option as well. Simply just select your clip and then drag it onto the iMovie project timeline. Today, I'll import my media clips by clicking on the downward arrow in the center of the iMovie application. Now just select a file, and then scroll down to Import Selected when you're ready. If you didn't choose the import option of dragging your files directly into iMovie, you'll have to drag your video clip into the project timeline after it's imported into iMovie. Now that our video is imported, we can begin the process of removing the audio from our video. To remove audio, navigate over to the right hand side of the iMovie application and click on the speaker icon. This will open your video's audio options. Now that your audio options are open, click on the smaller speaker icon on the left side of your video's audio options to remove your audio. You can also remove audio by dragging the circular marker next to the small speaker icon to 0%. All muted audio will be indicated by a red diagonal line through the smaller speaker icon in your video's audio options. Now that your audio is removed, let's save your video. Navigate over to the top right hand corner of the iMovie application and then click on the share button. You'll then be presented with several options, but today we're going to proceed with the file option. This option allows you to save your video as a local file and allows you to adjust your file's format, resolution, quality, and compression. The format option by default allows your video to be saved as a video and audio file or if you decide to change the format, your video can be saved as an audio only file. Resolution will dictate your video's visual quality. The resolution 720p and 1080p are considered high definition, while 540p isn't. Videos with higher resolution will have a bigger save file because they're retaining more pixel information. Quality dictates both the visual and audio clarity of your finished video ranging from low, medium, high, and best, also known as ProRes. There's also a custom option, which allows you to manually adjust the megabit information of your video. And finally, compression. Think of compression as Blu-ray versus DVD, with the faster option being DVD and the better quality option being Blu-ray. You have to decide which option best fits your needs. But today I'll leave my video format at the default of video and audio. My resolution at 1080p, my quality at high, and I'll change my compression to better quality. 
click next, and then now name your file and save it in a location that you can easily access. Then click on save when you're ready. Now that we've finished adjusting your video's audio, we can move on to the next part. In this part, we're going to go over how to trim your footage. Once again, we're going to have to import your video before we can begin editing your clip. Remember, there are several ways to import files, but I'll continue here by clicking on the downward arrow in the center of iMovie. Then select the clip you want to trim. Then click on Import Selected when you are ready. If you didn't choose to drag your files directly into iMovie, you have to drag your video clip into the project timeline after it's imported. Now that your video is on the project timeline, we can trim your video. On the right hand side of the iMovie application, you can drag the marker labeled settings to adjust the scale of your video on the project timeline. This will allow you to expand your clip for finer editing, as well as allowing you to minimize your clip if it's too long and clutters your project timeline. When your workspace is adjusted to your liking, let's trim your video. To trim, hover over the beginning or the end of your video clip. Your cursor will then transform into a horizontal arrow. Now drag left or right to trim your video. Once your clip is trimmed to your liking, let's save your video. Navigate over to the top right hand corner of the iMovie application and click on the share button. You'll then be presented with several options. But today, we're going to proceed with the file option. This option allows you to save your video as a local file and allows you to adjust your file's format, resolution, quality, and compression. You have to decide which option best fits your needs. But today I'll leave my video format at the default of video and audio. My resolution at 1080p, my quality at high, and I'll change my compression to better quality. Click next, and then, now name your file and save it in a location that you can easily access. Then click on save when you're ready. Now that we've finished trimming our video, we can move on to the final part. In this part, we're going to go over how to combine your footage. Once again, we're gonna to have to import your files before we can begin merging our clips. Remember the several ways I introduced earlier to import your footage. Here once again, I'll choose to import my footage by clicking on the downward arrow in the center of the iMovie application. Here, I'll hold down the command key on my keyboard to select two video files. Then click on import selected when you are ready. Remember, if you didn't choose to drag your files directly into iMovie, you have to drag your video clip into the project timeline after it's imported. Now let's add one more video to our two clips already on the project timeline. Navigate over to the left hand side of iMovie and click on the downward arrow to import another file. And just like earlier, select the file you want imported and then scroll down to import selected. Now drag the file we just added onto the project timeline to merge this final clip with our others. Now that all of our clips are together, we can rearrange the order of our videos. Select the clip and drag it in front or behind another clip to adjust its position. Once your video is arranged to your liking, let's save your video. Navigate over to the top right hand corner of the iMovie application and click on the share button. You'll then be presented with several options. But today, we're going to proceed with the file option. This option allows you to save your video as a local file and allows you to adjust your file's format, resolution, quality, and compression. You have to decide which option best fits your needs. But today I'll leave my video format at the default of video and audio. My resolution at 1080p, my quality at high, 
and I'll change my compression to better quality. Click Next, and then now name your file and save it in a location that you can easily access. Then click on Save when you're ready. Today, we removed audio from our footage, we trimmed our video, and we combined multiple clips into a single video file. Thanks for watching, and as always, drive safe. Now recording.